can you still make money with Shopify dropshipping in 2021? A lot of people on YouTube claim you can still make thousands. So today we'll put that to the test with a $150 budget and see if a beginner can go from scratch to running a profitable Shopify store in just one week. You guys are absolutely not going to believe my results. So stay tuned to see the journey for my first time using Facebook ads. With that said, let's officially start this challenge. So first things first, we gotta find a winning product to build our store around. And for that, I'm gonna do a little bit of research. The method I use is either through TikTok, through YouTube, or through actual Facebook. I'll update you guys once I've decided on a product. All right guys, I think I just found a winning product. I saw something similar to this on TikTok and it kind of got me the idea of this product and it's going to be a portable, rechargeable blender. I think it's a good product because it's a little bit different and kind of showcase the blending power of it and it being chargeable and being used for travel purposes. So now I need to go ahead and get a banger ad creative to actually drive traffic to this website that I'm gonna be building here very shortly. I'm gonna be trying out somebody new, Ecom Shark. So we're gonna go ahead and order that ad real quick. I went with the split test variation if you guys use my code TROPIC, you'll get 10% off your order. Link is down below in the description. So I'll wait for them to get back to me and we'll start running those ads. Now my ad strategy for advertising this ad creative, we're going to be using Facebook ads with a budget of $150. It's going to be a CBO based strategy. So $50 a day, five ad sets, five interests, $5 minimum each, and then the remaining $25 will go to the best performing ad sets. And this is a strategy that I've learned from some of the top YouTube dropshipping creators out there and I'm pretty confident this is a solid strategy with Facebook ads especially for a beginner like myself and of course for this store that I'm gonna be building here in just a moment I'm gonna be using the highest converting Shopify theme the day beautify theme if you guys want to try it out for yourself get a free 14 day trial use my link down below in the description all right so I just went ahead and created the website we're selling for $39.99 it's a little bit of a higher end price but because we are a one product store I think I can get away with higher price and because sourcing this product from CJ dropshipping the total dropshipping price which is the product price and the shipping price to the United States, we're looking at around $20.61. Even to make it 2x on the base price, we're looking at $40. So I went ahead and went back. Any dollar amount higher than that, I think would just be way too much. We have some really, really nice detailed reviews with photos. Everything looks nice. We have the newsletter for 10% off. And then we also have the FAQs as well, which is a huge key. And I've finally started to implement that in some of my previous few stores. And we are offering three colors, green, pink, and purple. Now that we have the store built, everything looks good. So wait on that creative and we'll get straight to work. It's now Thursday, September 16th. I just got the ad creative in tonight, so I went ahead and launched the ads. They're currently in review right now. We'll see what happens. I did a daily budget of $50 and then a minimum $5 ad spend per ad set, all with the same ad. I do have two other ones, beginning three seconds being changed, so a little split test variation if I get to the point where I want to scale to that. That's all I got. I'll check with you guys in about 24 hours after the ads have been running for a little while. It's officially day number two, Friday, September 17th. It's currently 2.35 a.m. So it's been about 24 hours since the ads have been running. I have about $60 spent right now. I'll show you all the analytics from the ad sets and all that good stuff. And then also show you some of the changes they made for day number two. All right, so here we are on the Shopify dashboard. And we got 25 sessions today, three edit cards, two reach checkouts. If we look at yesterday, 13 edit cards, six reach checkouts, 93 total store sessions. So it's all about getting that conversion right now. Now we're gonna take a look at the ads manager and now I'll show you guys around. We've reached almost 2,000 people. We're at $60 on the amount spent. Facebook has tracked 15 total added cards. We are at $4 for an added card alone. So already $60 in and my profit margin is about $20 per unit sold. So in order to be profitable, we're gonna have to turn this around really, really fast. Fast as boy. Click through rate is 5.75%. I don't think that's too bad. The cost per click is 49 cents. It's just for the overall campaign. 92 link clicks. Let me take a look at the ad sets. Turn off healthy habits. It was is not doing well and then juice I turned off as well I got an added card but the cost per impressions was a little too high for my liking juicer by far has been the best so I went ahead and duplicated that and then I realized I forgot Canada so I put Canada in this one so one is just kitchen so honestly you look at these numbers and then you look at some of the rules and the different things that I wrote down from notes from YouTube University <laughs> Let me know down below in the comment section what the heck am I doing wrong here. I know a lot of times you just gotta stick with stuff, but we'll see how this goes. I'll check with you guys tomorrow night. <laughs>
Sad, dude. We're now on day number two of money being spent on the ads. I'm just gonna go over the results today really quickly because there wasn't a whole lot to talk about. I messed around a lot. I was tweaking different things. I changed some things within the different ad sets. I also created some new ad sets to duplicate some stuff, and I also changed a lot of settings. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but let me go over the results, what we got going on in this second day here. We had 102 sessions on the store, 11 added carts, and five reached checkouts. So those numbers were down, but they're still not bad. We just cannot get the conversion. That's a lot of damage. So we're at $97 spent right now, um, a total of 3,000 reach. Our CPM is $26. Put the rate is 6%. Cost per click is 42 cents. Link clicks 179. Facebook has tracked 26 edit cards and eight checkouts. So the numbers don't seem bad. It's it's the, con the actual conversion rate that's that's killing me right now. I think they'll do better than the ones previously. I built off that one that did well. That was the juicer one. And I'm targeting only US because then I kind of realized that right now, like a lot of the other countries, they're in like strict lockdown. So they can't even go anywhere because this product is targeted for on the go even though you know you don't really need it on the go but it is you know rechargeable it's all that good stuff so we're going to just us and then i changed some of the ad creatives i'm on i'm using all three ad creatives now and once again probably not the best idea but with limited budget i'm kind of just testing all kinds of stuff and i know the data has got to be all over the place right now i know i'm kind of screwing around with it but that's my update from day number two i'll see you guys tomorrow night it's officially the final day guys Let's take a look at the analytics on the facebook ads and then take a look at the shopify results let's head over to the facebook ads dashboard and check it all out all right so from the campaign level we're looking at 4470 reach budget says 60 dollars. i just had to do that because i'm some of the new ad sets i had to test we spent a total of 150 dollars 73 cents overall cpm was 30 46 click through rate was six percent the average for facebook ads is three to five percent so this ad creative did a really good job surprise Mother the cost per click was 50 cents. So we did good there. We had 226 link clicks. We had 32 added carts, eight checkouts initiated. Now, if we take a look at the ad sets, this is where it starts to get really interesting. I by far spent the most money on juicer and blender. The problem is I did not realize this until like the second day when I was messing with these ads. I realized I did add the cart on these ones, but they definitely did get some added carts. So on this third day here, the ad set that I did change, I copied Smoother and Juicer exactly, removed all the countries, went for United States only, and changed the conversion to purchases. And you'll notice here, for the amount spent, there was like zero reach. The cost per thousand impressions was sky high. Really? Click-through rate was good on Smoothie, not so much on Juicer. You wanna try to keep the CPM under $50 at like the absolute max. See, the original headsets I created actually did the best as far as analytical wise. So if I did the purchase conversion, would that have done a whole lot more? I don't know. So honestly, if you're spending $150, only reaching 5,000 people, kind of crazy to me. I mean, for just reaching under 5,000 people, having 300 people visit the site is pretty nice. I tried dropshipping on Instagram. I spent like $150 on ads and drove like 1,000 people to the website. So I, it's a little bit different. I know that like those people aren't as targeted, so it's a little bit different. But spending $150, only reaching 4,000 people, it's just, it's a little bit different for me. I'm just reaching a lot more people with my ads or other advertising platforms. I like the targeting. I think I did really good on the ad side of things for my first time using Facebook ads. You take a look at the smooth juicer. You guys are absolutely not going to believe my results. Hop it a little more. Take a look at the dashboard here. It's 30 added carts, nine reach checkouts. So the added cart rate was 11%. Pretty solid reach checkout, 3%. You know, a little iffy there. We had 274 website sessions. The most was from the United States, then the UK. These results are just absolutely insane, guys. I cannot believe it. I have not made a sale on a Shopify store since my very first Shopify dropshipping channel. When I dropshipped with $0. Is Shopify dropshipping still worth it in 2021? I don't know. Maybe. Catch you all in the next one.